What's going on guys? It is Chris, your tech talk doc. Don't be fooled by the name. I am a real life medical doctor, but this is one of my hobbies. And this is my YouTube channel, the tech talk doc. Thank you for coming. All the new people, welcome. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell to get my latest uploads into your inbox. And if you're a returning user, thank you for coming. Please share and like the videos. Check out the next video. Enjoy. What's going on guys? It's Chris, the Tech Talk Doc. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to look at the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And one of the features that I use it for, and I actually did use it for this past week, um, I'm not sure people know that it could be used for a lot of different things, whether it's indoor or outdoor. So there's many different uh, shooting modes that you'll notice. And we're gonna go over one of them here. I mean, for the most part, I want to talk about the mode that I used, um, which was the panorama shooting mode, which includes a spear, which we'll talk about, 180 degrees, wide angle and vertical. Uh, panorama photo is in 180 degrees, and spear mode up to 100 megapixels. But the intelligent flight modes uh, do include such things as focus track, master shots, quick shots, hyperlapse, waypoint, flight, and cruise control. We're not gonna be talking about the video, but more or less the photos you can take. And the reason why I did use my drone was for the reason that I was having my kitchen redone. And um, not at my choice, because we had some pipes burst, but I wanted to give the designer a 3D, um, or say a virtual tour of the current setup, how things were laid out. So I was thinking, I said, well, I've done that with my drone. So having, you know, the DJI Mini 4 Pro, I figured let's go try it um, indoors. And there are a couple, you know, precautionary things you gotta be careful of. And you can refer to um, the website DJI for the precautionary measures you should take. All right, and which modes you should fly in. For example, I don't suggest flying in sports mode because you can lose control and it's a tight space and you know you have to be well coordinated and that I am so um, I have flown inside in several different tiny you know areas and I had no problem but that's to say if you mess up a little bit or you know go to the left a little bit to the right you may lose control you may end up hitting something breaking something that's important to you basically what I did is I went up and um, I put it into the mode I wanted I in fact use sports mode, but that's me. All right, because I want to be able to get closer to certain things, knowing the risk of possibly taking down my drone and taking down some things in the home. So, um, but let's get back to the panoramic sphere mode on the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Many use it for panoramic photography, which can provide a distorted creative view of a scene. All right, social media, Panoramic photos can be used to post interactive photo on social media where viewers can move inside the image. And for me, virtual tour. So I wanted to make a virtual tour of my kitchen. Um, and I'll show you one of my bedroom because that's where I actually did the one I'm displaying. And they can be used for virtual tours for real estate listings. And that's what I did. So I'm going to show you what it actually looks like, the um, photo when you upload it to say Google Photos, which is where I uploaded um, the photo to be viewed by the designer. So when I do upload the photo to Google Photos, this is what you'll see. And you will see this here, okay? And here's just another one of a different video. And the video, uh, sorry, the image will look distorted, okay? And again, here is the image here and another one here and I'll go ahead I'm in Google Photos I'll go ahead and click on it okay I'll click on one of them and then we'll click on the other so when I click on it it goes from that mode right like this and now you can see my Legos up there huh so I can now scroll with my mouse that's a speaker all right nothing's a hundred percent you know I got my Legos up there I got my diplomas there so this is my office and it's kind of messy, but I have part of my business running out of here too. Um, 
but you can see how you get a 360 degree view of everything. You know, there is a couple, you know, things here that, you know, putting the photos together, when it does that automatically, it, it may not line up perfectly, but you get the idea. I mean, it's very, you know, this is where I am right now. It's very nice and uh, smooth now. Why do I have two TVs here? Well, I had a leak, flood, basically pipe broke downstairs in my home. All right, so I took the TV out of there just to make sure it was safe somewhere. All right, but this is what you see. Let's check out the other one now. It comes up like that, and then the drone was right in front of the TV when it started, but you can put it, the drone anywhere. I had it, you know, one end of the room, and it gets, you know, pretty much everything. It does a really good job. So imagine this being used for a virtual tour of a house. It's definitely doable and it provides and produces a quality virtual tour image. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can use the, you know, the Mini 4 Pro for. Um, I'll even say the Mini 3 as well. But this is something that I use it for. And I think other people can, you know, look at a lot of the functions of it and find use for a lot of them. I will show you how to get to that point. I will turn on my drone inside my home and I'll turn the remote on and I'll show you how to actually get there. And we got the new battery in. So I'm gonna put this in a safe location because I don't need to basically show you this. I need to show you this. So I also did screen record um, my screen here when I did do the tutorial um, before. But um, I'm going to put it in sport mode. I don't recommend that. That's what I'm doing. Um, it's not safe. So don't follow doing what I'm doing, okay? Um, just a recommendation. So we are up, you see it? We'll go right to that, okay? And you can see here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to screen record this too. So I'm going to swipe down, and I'm going to hit screen record. It's now recording the screen. Alright, I'm now going to click on this here. And you'll see it brings this up. Scrolling down to Pano. So I went to Pano, all right? I can choose Spear. I can choose 180 degrees. Wide angle, I can choose as well. And vertical, that would be for your social media. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Spear. And I'm gonna hit the picture thing. And you see what it's going to do automatically. So it's automatically turning and taking all the photos. Now this is, this is genius. This is smart. This is pretty freaking good. I'll tell you that. It may not give us 100%, which means I have to fly it around a little bit to complete the sphere. But uh, you'll see. So we may have to complete this through ourselves. Right now it's at 48%, okay? And I may have to fly it around a little bit. It's at 50%, 52%. So I'm just gonna turn it around and try and get it higher. It's at 70% now. It's at 71%. It's at 73%, 76. 78, and I'm just gonna move up and down until it does 100, 80, 90 percent, 97 percent, and 100. So we're at 100. So it's complete this fear. I'm now gonna land the device, and I'm gonna hit landing. All right, it's gonna land for me. Excellent. So I'm gonna stop the screen recording. All right, and I'm also going to go grab the drone and put the card into my computer so I can now look at the image. 
So now I'm actually gonna switch over to screen recording my computer as well, as I talk to you. Now I am gonna show you two things because I did screen record on the RC2 and this has, it's a confusing thing, a built-in um, 32 gig memory, I believe, and it has a slot for a card. It's useless, the slot for the card. But I'm gonna show you how to get off the screen recording as well. We'll do that two in one video here. Taking the drone footage from the DJI Mini 4 Pro and placing it on my desktop. The DCM folder is the location of images and video on the drone card. I named my folder as you can see back in May, but I will change it. I know the files are in here though. Now I am just going to view details so I can sort by date modified and easily find the photo I took today. Now I copy and paste the file on my desktop where it's accessible. Okay, so now that we have taken the photos off of the drone, and that being the panoramic uh, photo, as you see here, is let's upload it to Google Photos. That's what I like to use. So I'll hit upload, it'll find it on your computer. I'm gonna go to desktop, and um, we will find it right here. All right, so I'm gonna click on the image. You'll see here it goes into this mode and I can go through it and view it like it's a virtual tour. I'm not going to show myself though because I don't know what I was wearing. DJI RC2 comes with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage allowing for direct screen recording and caching. It also supports micro SD card expansion for an additional storage option. To access the RC2 screen recordings, click on the DJI RC2 mobile phone icon. Select internal shared storage. Screen recordings are found under movies. This is your screen recording. Copy and paste it onto your computer. Let's take a quick view at the video screen recording of the DJI RC2. Pay close attention to the right side where we choose our view the drone will automatically take photos. Notice that we first select Pano then Sphere and click the round white circle to begin. In this rapidly evolving and advancing data age it is difficult to be knowledgeable and stay on top of the best technology out there and how to troubleshoot tech problems. Leave it to a real life medical doctor who went to school for information technology to show you the tips and tricks and help solve your tech issues. In medical school they called me the tech doctor. I am the tech talk doc. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for coming. Please follow me on social media and on my many websites including ChristopherBrennanMD.com and USAWebDesigns.com.